Okay, honestly you guys, I didn't realize how many brushes I had until I sat down to film this video. And uh, I'm insane. <laughs> Hey guys, so today is going to be another uh, video on my uh, makeup collection series and today I'm going to be showing y'all my brushes. I've been wanting to do a video like this just kind of showing y'all some of my favorite brushes and the affordable ones and then the ones that I don't really prefer um, just because I know brushes are like can be overwhelming and confusing because I know it was for me when I first started. I was like, why can't I have a foundation brush and an eye brush? Like, What's wrong with that? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I know a bunch of people who do their makeup with one brush or two brushes or no brushes and they get along fine. But once you kind of start experimenting with different brushes, you kind of see what they do. And if you're like me, you can't stop. So the way I think I'm going to do this is just start with my everyday brushes and then go to the more like random brushes that I don't really pick up the most. So first I'm going to show y'all probably my favorite brushes of all times and it is these. You can get these at Target or Walmart or anywhere and I have some Morphe brushes, I have some Sigma brushes and I still will come back to these and we'll talk about that a little bit later. I use this one for foundation a lot. I absolutely love it especially with my Born This Way foundation. It's just a really dense uh, kabuki brush and then this I use for setting my under eyes. Um, these two I don't use as much and this one I use for highlighting and I absolutely love it. So these are my all time favorite brushes. These are so cheap. You can get them anywhere. So these are for sure my favorite brushes. I didn't even tell you. I think these are like the Eco Tools ones. But I don't know. Okay, next. These are, I know for sure, Eco Tool brushes and these are what I use every day for eyes. I could not deal without these. Um, so this first one is dirty, first of all. This is just a really small pencil brush that I use for my eyeliner. Um, this one I don't use as much. Sometimes I use it for blending. I think it came in like a travel pack thing. Um, this one's like a double-sided one. This one has a cool smudger on the end. I do use that a lot. And then this one I use every day, this one I use every day, and this one I use every day. These three for my eyeballs. And I love them. This next set I mainly just bought because I thought they were cute. They're a... Uh, Chevron. <laughs> and these are from Altair Beauty and woo. And uh this set's okay. There's only a few in here that I use a lot and it is this angle angled brush I like to use for setting my eyes and this brush I use for blush. I love like pointed tapery brushes like this. They're my favorite. But yeah, super soft, super great. I'll use this for kind of blending my entire face out like after I have blush and uh, highlight and stuff like that. So I really like these. These I don't grab for as much. These are really cool brushes. They're, I mean, they're soft and dense and stuff. I just, I don't know why I haven't grabbed for them. Like, they're great. I just, I don't use them as much as I use some of the others. Okay, I lied. It's not this, wait. It's not this brush that I use for foundation because as I was hitting here, I was like, this is really not very dense. <laughs> it was this one. It's a purple one. This is also from Altair Beauty. Um, it's way denser and I love this for foundation. This is probably my second favorite next to my beauty blender to use for foundation. Um, and then these are just an angled brush. I use this one for my brows and just a brow brusher thing. Next we have this big old set that I got for Christmas. These are my Sigma brushes and I love these. Whoa. Whoa. So we're just going to go in order and first thing I want to point out is I hate these kind of brushes. I do not... Shh. I do not like foundation brushes, never have, probably never will. I think they're pointless and I've heard tell me if you like foundation brushes, you do you and props to you because I personally cannot deal with them. And I also don't really dig brushes like these either. I never know what to do with them, but yeah. Now moving on to the brushes that I do like. Um, this is just an angled brush. I use this for contouring every single day. Like I said, I've played with Morphe and Tarte angled brushes, and I still come back to this one. This one's relative. These are mm, not as cheap as the ones that I mentioned earlier, but it's relatively cheap-ish, I guess. I don't know. This one's just a Sigma 850 brush, and it's a necessity for me. This next one's just this big brush. I'll use this for powder, or sometimes, like I use this one, just to blend out my face. And then this one... This is my holy grail of all brushes 
ever in a century of brushes. So this is the Sigma 863 brush. This is my Ride or Die Homie, my eyeshadow brush. If I had to choose one brush to use for the rest of my life, it would be this one. Like, I'm not even kidding you right now. I love it. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Um, this next one is a concealer brush, and it looks like I used this one the same way I used this one, and that is to put on primer or to put on concealer, because it is a concealer brush. These, I don't, let's see, what are these? Okay, these I don't use as much. This, okay, this one I do use to kind of smudge out my lower lash line, or even sometimes my top, my top line, depending on what kind of eye look I'm doing. It's just like a really small, cutie brush. And then these are just kind of awkward brushes for me. I never know what to do with things like this. Um, so, yeah, I don't really use these, but, you know. And then this, I always love angled brushes. I will always find a use for an angled brush. I'll grab for this um, a lot, and then this is just a small handy brush to have when you want to do some cool eyeliner designs or just play or just do Halloween makeup or whatever. So this is a really nice brush. Now moving on to my more recent brushes, I picked up quite a few, whoo, quite a few Morphe brushes as you can see. Um, so this first one is the Morphe G3 brush and it's supposed to be like a contour brush and this is a really good, don't get me wrong, it's nice and dense, it works, I have used it a lot, but like I said, I still like this one a lot better. And then this is another contouring brush. This is the Morphe G30 and I did not like this. As you can tell it's pretty darn clean. I think I used it once or twice and it's just it's so sharp and I didn't know what to do with it. Again I like that I can go in with this and then also blend it out. So this is my I'm telling y'all this is my ride or die but um this is really I mean if you want like a like a sharp contour this will be your home girl. It's seriously like it's an intense brush. But. Okay, this is the Morphe M439, and this is probably the one you've heard the most about. This is the foundation brush that a bunch of people use. I love this with certain foundations. I don't like it with my Born This Way <laughs> from Too Faced foundation, um, but this is an incredible brush. I love using it. And um, This next one is the Morphe M438 brush, and I will pick up this brush, which is like half the price probably over this brush just because this one's denser and grabs more product and this one's like not as dense but I still love this brush. I like to use this to kind of dust off excess eyeshadow and I will also use this when I'm doing other people's highlight and stuff just because I like a more intense highlight I'll use this but when I'm doing clients and things like that I'll use this because it grabs less product and gives me a little bit more control. But it's super soft and I really like it. It does great at getting under your eye and highlighting. It's gorgeous and you can also probably contour with it. Well, maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, this is a fun brush to have. Okay, this next one is the Morphe M335 brush and I really, really do like this. This has replaced my Beauty Blender for um, concealer and that's what this is. It's just a really dense, nice concealer brush. Okay, this next brush, <laughs> this was on sale, um, haven't used it yet, it looks really janky, but it's the Morphe MB21 brush, I don't know if you can see that, it's just kind of a little awkward spout, it's not tapered or anything like this one, so it's just, it was on sale dude, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Um, okay, these are my random brushes that I use all the time, well, two of them I use all the time. This first one is another one that is like this one in which I could not live without it. And this brush actually came with one of my palettes. It came with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Artist Palette. And it has this fluffy end that I like to use for blending and in my crease. And then it has this end that I like to use for under my eyeballs. And this is a ride or die brush for me. And I don't know if you can buy this just by itself because, like I said, this came with the palette. So, that's another reason to buy that palette, homie. Just saying. Okay, this is just an uh, what? This is an Ulta angled foundation brush, and I loved this. Let's see, what did I use this for? I think I used this for foundation for a while, but it's so small that like I ended up just using it for concealer, and I loved it for concealer. Um, it's so dense and small, and since it is angled, it's easy to get in tight places. I think that's what I did. I think I was using my beauty blender for my foundation, and I used this to get in smaller hard to reach places. Okay, this is just my big fluffy flower brush. I love this thing. This is what I use for my bronzer. It's big 
and dense and I like me some bronzer and so this is another one of my homies okay and then this is the Tarte has no name brush <laughs> um, this is basically their contouring brush um, you contour with this end it's really dense and gets in there and then you can buff it out and blend it with this I used to use this all the time it's an incredible brush it's super dense I think this was in the 30 or 40 range I can't remember it was pretty pricey but it's a good brush but again I haven't grabbed for it in a while just because I've been grabbing for this one I'm telling you this is this is the one and then I'm not really gonna go through all these but I have this like basket of random brushes that I never use they're just kind of tucked away in my drawer and I don't know what these are but I pulled them out and like couldn't help but last because they're pretty ratchet but Alright, so that is it for my brush collection. I'll have the company's link down below. I'm not going to link each individual brush because that would take too long. But we'll link the companies and stuff like that. So, I will see y'all tomorrow. And I don't know what I want to do yet. I'm either going to do like bronzer or foundation or maybe mascara. I don't know. We'll see when the time comes. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.